California is moving to speed up its vaccine rollout against the coronavirus. Governor Gavin Newsom today saying state officials are working on increasing the number of distribution sites. The effort comes as the state grapples with a surge in new infections. The governor says the holidays will likely continue to increase the number of infections and hospitalizations in the coming weeks. All of us, I think, we want to see 100% of what's received immediately administered in people's arms. And so that's a challenge, a challenge across this country. It's a challenge, for that matter, around the rest of the world. But that's not an excuse. Yesterday, state health officials reported more than 45,000 new cases of the virus in California. More than 12,000 of those were recorded in Los Angeles. Today, Governor Newsom granting an emergency waiver for California dentists, pharmacy techs, and members of the National Guard to help speed up vaccine distribution. News Channel 3's Dan Romero is reporting live tonight from home with more on how that will help in the fight against the coronavirus. Danny. John, we heard from the governor today that we are facing some of that distribution challenges but now that the state is hoping that by allowing dentists to administer the COVID-19 vaccine, that it'll help speed up that pace. Whatever dental professions, professionals can do to help, sign me up, tell me where to go. You know, I can go on my days off. Dr. Asal Aslani from Portola Dental Group in Palm Desert is willing to join the fight against COVID-19. Everyone's really eager to get these vaccinations. We've been waiting. There's a lot of people that need to be vaccinated. A public health emergency waiver has been approved by the Department of Consumer Affairs. Dentists in California will be allowed to administer the COVID-19 vaccine to people 16 years old and older. There's 36,000 dentists willing and wanting to be part of the solution to help get us past this pandemic. But there's a catch. Shots will be given in hospital settings, clinics, and other vaccination sites. An eligible dentist will be required to complete training protocols set by the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. It's approximately three hours training, and it really goes through what is COVID, what is the vaccine, how to administer it, what to be on the lookout in terms of any adverse reactions or allergic reactions and, and how to handle it. And it's also the paperwork on, on how to document it. Dr. Richard Nagy, former president of the California Dental Association, says allowing dentists to vaccinate patients could help save lives. We need two shots in order for this vaccine to be fully, to help fully protect people. We estimate in California that's about 200,000 uh, injections a day. So we need the supply of the vaccine which is coming, but we also need people to actually uh, give the injections to make it happen. And local dentists who want to get involved can contact the California Dental Association for more information. And for their contact, head to our website, KESQ.com. Reporting live, Danny Romero, News Channel 3.